The chief executive of Eskim, Pakamani Khadebe, has said that Eskim has huge problems and that it cannot resolve them alone. He also says the parastatal must apologize to South Africans for asking for another massive power price increase, but that the company must avoid a debt trap. He was speaking at the start of public hearings held by the National Energy Regulator of South Africa in Cape Town today. Eskim is asking for a series of three price hikes of 15% a year over the next three years. Vanessa Puno is our SAB reporter at the hearings. Vanessa, good evening to you. What message did Pakamani Khadebe have for South Africans today? Yes, good evening to you indeed. And I think uh, what the ESCOM CEO started off by apologizing to South African public, uh, saying uh, that uh, at this point, even though uh, the situation the power utility finds itself in may have happened over a series of years, um, that this unfortunately is the reality on the ground at the moment. And of course, then apologizing to South Africans, not just uh, for uh, the 15% increase it's asking for over the next three years, but also for the financial situation that ESCOM finds itself in now, of course, uh, presentation also uh, delivered to this first of a series of public hearings by the chief financial officer, Mr. Caleb Kassim. And uh, he was essentially saying uh, that uh, this 45% uh, increase, and that's of course essentially what it will amount to um, if the energy regulator indeed uh, grants this application by ESCOM for a 15% uh, over the next three years, uh, will assist uh, ESCOM in turning around its financial situation, saying that at this point in time, uh, uh, the 419 billion rand that Eskom owes um, at this point is unsustainable and saying that if they cannot as, as a company meet those service uh, uh, targets or service requirements to service uh, that debt, uh, ultimately then government would be um, responsible for taking over that debt and of course that this money could be recouped uh, by the very consumer uh, who now faces a 15% uh, increase on tariffs. Um, it could then happen that government could perhaps in some form of, of taxes uh, then try and recoup that uh, uh, finances from the South African paying public. Now we do know that uh, today just day one of these public hearings and of course a number of civil society organizations um, we've seen rep uh, representatives from uh, outer representatives from Agri Western Cape uh, we've also heard uh, from a representative of SALGA of course that's the South African Local Government Association making recommendations or rather a presentation uh, to this hearing saying that a 15 percent a price hike, tariff hike, uh, is not sustainable on the consumer, saying that if this is indeed what Eskim is asking, that it's out of touch and not consumer-centric. And, of course, um, saying that it will not uh, agree to this 15% price hike on the average consumer. Uh, you would know that one of the issues highlighted by ESCOM in its presentation today is the fact that municipalities um, owe ESCOM something like 20 billion rand. And, of course, the uh, CFO saying that ESCOM cannot act as a bank saying it will need government's intervention, government's assistance uh, to recoup the monies owed to it uh, by the various municipalities. So would it be wrong then, Vanessa, to sort of sum up in a way uh, this message to say that actually he's saying you're either going to pay now through uh, an increased tariff or you're going to pay later through a tax hike. I would imagine people are going to be infuriated when they hear that kind of message coming from Eskom, especially if we do have more load shedding in the future. Indeed, and I think that's the sentiment from various civil society organizations that have and will be making presentations uh, to these various public hearings that will be taking place over the next uh, three weeks or so as NERSA crisscrosses the country uh, in various provinces uh, to get a sense from South African public in terms of how to turn around uh, the ESCOM situation. Of course, one of the energy um, and mining experts we spoke to, Mr. Ted Blom, was saying uh, that he believes that this application by ESCOM uh, is a flawed and also premature, saying uh, that uh, uh, we are still awaiting uh, the outcomes of a report by the presidential task team, uh, saying uh, that uh, the board's turnaround strategy has not yet been completed and that this could have a, a huge impact on ESCOM's viability and also um, uh, going forward looking at uh, the uh, parastatal's um, ability uh, to, to become, uh, well, if one can call it solvent again. Um, so yes, there has been criticism from various quarters already. Um, if one looks at so 
social media, one looks at what uh, various uh, organizations, opposition parties, etc., may be having um, you know, a, a go at Eskom as they come uh, essentially with cap in hand asking this uh, for this 15 percent and saying that over the next three years uh, to break even, it would need that or else this debt spiral could continue and could end up over the next five years being as much as 600 billion rand and of course then lending uh, just to service this debt, uh, not a sustainable model uh, for, for Eskom to continue keeping our lights on and of course uh, there has been load shedding, you've said over, over December. Um, you know, when industries start coming on board again, it's now, you know, the end of the holiday and festive season uh, period. And as industries really come on board again, um, uh, the, the big question would be to the, to the average consumer, whether it's an individual consumer or a commercial consumer, um, or whether they're indeed getting value for their money uh, from Eskom. Vanessa Puna in Cape Town, thank you very much indeed.